Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. This is going to be another Power Automate video. And in this particular example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy an image from one record into the other record. So if you're interested, uh, then definitely check out this video. I will explain you exactly what I'm going to do right now. So first I want to talk about the setup here for this example. And obviously I'm using custom tables for this, but you could also try to use this for some existing tables that are already in Dynamics 365. So the first thing I did is I actually created a new table that is called hobbies. And you can see here, there are not a lot of fields on there. I do have an image in this particular hobby record and then I have a name and that's really all that is. This is just a table that's holding a whole bunch of hobbies here in this table and what I want to do then is I actually want to go ahead and tie that to the contact table. So I'm using the out of the box contact table in Dynamics 365 but obviously many contexts can have many different hobbies and vice versa. So we would really need a many to many relationship here. And I'm actually not using a many to many relationship. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to create another table where I am tying the hobby table and the contact table together. So I'm creating a manual many to many and that table is called the contact hobby table. And as you can see, I have a look up here to the hobby table and a look up here to my contact table. And what I'm going to do then is that when that new contact hobby is created, I want to copy the image from the actual hobby into that contact hobby table or record, I should say. So let me show you what that looks like. Right here, you can see I have a, a contact record, which is myself, and I can navigate here to hobbies. And you can see I already have two hobbies here. And if I add a new contact hobby, all I have to do is populate this hobby lookup. So I'm going to say, let's just say hiking here and let's just hit save and close. And as you can see, we currently don't have an image here. So I'm going to open up this record and I'm going to open up this hobby record. And you can see here, this is our hiking image that we're using a power automate flow to grab this image and then to paste that here in, as you can see, it already happens in my new contact hobby record. And as you can see, that image has now been populated. So now let's take a look at how we can build this Power Automate flow to make this happen. All right, so we are here in flow.microsoft.com uh, where we're going to be able to create that Power Automate flow. And this is going to be an automated cloud flow. So I'm going to select that. And I don't like this screen, so I'm going to hit skip over here. and the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you give this a good name, right? So I'm going to call this set contact hobby image. And my trigger is going to be when a new row is added. So that's this guy when a row is added, modified or deleted. And again, we are just going to run this when a new record is created. So I'm going to click edit or add it, sorry, over here. And then the table we're looking for is those contact hobbies, right? And then you can select a scope. For me, it's going to be organization. And that's really all I have to do in that trigger. Then my next step is again, Dataverse. And what I want to do is I want to get the unique ID of the hobby record that was selected 
when this contact hobby record was created. So here we're looking for hobbies and then we want to get that row ID. So I'm going to type in hobby and what you're looking for here is this unique identifier for the hobby record because that record has the image. Nothing else I need to do here. I actually now have the unique ID of the hobby and now I want to actually update a row and let me see here update a row because we want to go ahead and update this contact hobby row that was just created so this is again contact hobbies and of course we want to get the row id the unique id for this particular contact hobby that was entered so i'm going to say contact hobby and that's this guy the unique identifier and all I want to update here is that image field, right? So I'm going to go ahead and search for image. Now, this is very important that you want to actually get the image from the get a row by ID step, because if we're grabbing the image when a row is added, modified or deleted, that's my trigger, right? That's when this record is created. So at this point, when it's created, it's blank. Right. So you got to make sure we're getting that image from this hobby record. So if I click here again, make sure you're going to select the image below get a row by ID. And then I'm going to put that image in there. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching. Till next time.